So, Karen Strassman, a very well-known anime voice actress, video game voice actress, and many other things, has come under fire. Now, the reason is absolutely ridiculous, and it's because people on Twitter are going insane because she liked Trump tweets. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, Karen Strassman who is a very well-known voice actress, not just for anime, also video games, and she's also done some live-action works. Well, apparently, she's under fire by the Twitter outrage clown mob. <laughs> what are they going after her for? Oh, well, they're going after her because of one thing, because she liked Trump tweets. Absolutely ridiculous. This is stupid. You know, of course, the radical left have been going absolutely insane. And now they're going after Karen Strassman because she's a well-known voice actress. And, you know, when you look at it, well, she likes something that they don't. She liked Trump tweets, and they can't stand it. This article is by Senkaku Complex. Persona and Bleach voice actress Karen Strassman hated for liking Trump tweets, which is absolutely ridiculous. And, look, things have been getting crazy as of the election. I mean, look at this. AOC, what they want to do is they want to make a list of all the people who support Trump, they basically want to shame anyone that is in support of Trump until they conform to their ways. You know, they want people to join the hive mind. You know, like, this is ridiculous. And I mean, what was America founded for? Freedom. <laughs> you know, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of beliefs. You know, and here's the thing. They want to take that away. You know, unless you agree with him, of course. It's ridiculous. People have every right to vote for Trump. People have every right to vote for Biden. Personally, I don't care who people vote for. That's just me. You have every right to vote for whoever you want to vote for. But these insane leftists do not think that way. They think that if you don't agree with them, you are the enemy and you need to change. This is absurd. And now they're after Karen Strassman because she liked Trump tweets. I mean, this is... I mean. How much more of a clown show could this be? I mean, seriously, this is insane. Twitter's inexhaustible legion of outraged fanatics have become offended by another individual with a different opinion going against their narrative. As legendary English voice actor Karen Strassman has been despised for liking tear-inducing tweets scribed by worse than uh, the main villain of World War II, President Donald Trump. Karen Strassman has taken on many memorable roles in both anime and video games such as Rouge the Bat, from the Sonic series, Annette Birkin in the Resident Evil 2 remake, Aegis of Persona 3, Soyphone from Bleach, Colin Statfield of Code Geass, and even Ryder from various entries of the Fate series. This travesty was brought to light by a furry who <laughs> drew attention to Strassman liking tweets made by Donald Trump, as well as some other random tweets denouncing the hypocrisy and evil of the usual outrage mongers. Oh, good God. I mean, see, this is how ridiculous this gets. This is what this person stated. VA for Aegis and Nanako from Persona is a Trump-supporting pandemic denier. Sucks, bro! I mean, look, these people are crazy. What they do is they go on Twitter, right, and they look for people that they like. And then when they see them, you know, they're like, Oh, well, I like this person. What did they say today? Well, here's this tweet. They like Trump. They like Trump! <laughs> Basically act like that. And they just go, Ree! <laughs> and then they go after that person. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd behavior. And they go as far as to try to cancel them. And they go through their entire Twitter feed, find every single last thing that they've ever said, or that they've ever even liked. And then, of course, well, what do they do? They then try to find this as a reason to cancel this person. You know, and Karen Strassman is another person that they're now attacking. I mean, this is absolutely absurd. And when you see the radical left now being like, hey, let's create lists because people voted for the orange man. So let's put them on these lists and let's shame them. Let's punish them for doing this. I mean, that sounds like something that uh, I, I don't know. Maybe World War II villains would do. I, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, it's just absurd. Like I said, this is stupid. And they did the same thing to Kirstie Alley. See, Kirstie Alley herself, she also came out as a Trump supporter. But hey, you know, that didn't stop them from going after her either. You know, they completely went after her as well. 
And now Karen Strassman, as you can see, is the next victim. And these idiots on Twitter believe that they have the power to end your career. They believe that they have the ability to cancel you, and they don't. And this is ridiculous. Like clockwork, others of the same belligerent contingent were eager to virtue signal by demonstrating how much they despise Strassman for daring to like tweets from the evil Orange Man, with many of their responses being as cut and paste as many would have expected. Yeah, because NPCs, you know, they always say the same thing over. It's, you know, same talk every single last time, <laughs> you know, with them. And so get ready because we're about to see a lot of it. This one person, you know, says this. Why do all the people I like have to be shitheads? And you'll always see this. This is what they always say every single time. You know, they always say that, oh, well, they're a shitty person. Or, oh, they're a terrible, they're the worst person ever. I thought they were better than this. You know, they always say this kind of stuff. It's a repetitive cycle. And, of course, Sergeant Marcus Shaved Balls had this to say. People need to learn to separate an artist from their art. You can be fine with the voicing she did in the past, but it goes without saying that you shouldn't be supporting her from here forward. Yeah, Sergeant Marcus Shayballs wants you to take him seriously. Well, Sergeant Marcus Shayballs, if I had to guess why your name is that, is it because you shaved your balls so hard that you're nothing but a Ken doll down there? Because that's what it seems like to me. <laughs> Santo Hara said... Oh, look, the worst voice in both games sucks as a person surprise. And that's what they always say. They always say that this is the worst person ever, you know, because they don't agree with them. It's absolutely ridiculous. But the next statement is really bad. I always knew she was a piece of shit, but fucking jeez, lady, how shitty or can you get? Oh, yeah, why? Of course, it's Twitter. It's a load of shit. I mean, seriously, these people, this is how it always is on Twitter. It's nothing but this garbage every single time. I'm not even kidding. This is how Twitter acts. This is how they treat people they want to get rid of, that they want to cancel. I mean, like I said, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely absurd. And that's the thing. You know, they're trying to basically say that Karen Strassman, you know, she can and can't say this about so-and-so or she can and can't like this. Like, they're trying to dictate what she can and can't like, which is just dumb. People have the right to like and dislike whatever they want. But, like I said, it comes down to these idiot clowns on Twitter to do stuff like this. Finally, a reason to never want to start playing Persona! <laughs> what? See, this is what I'm talking about. These people are not actually fans. They don't actually care. You see, what they do is they come in here... They screech and try to make people bend the knee all the time. This is what they always do, but they don't ever like the person or they don't ever like the products or the shows or the movies or the games or any of it. They never like any of it, but they come in here to try to change it to ruin what people enjoy. That's what they do. They, they try to push their agendas this way. And right here, they're trying to dictate what Karen Stressman can like and dislike. They're trying to get her to bend the knee, otherwise they're going to cancel her. That's basically how this works. And you're seeing it right here. Another one, sad. Another person, pain. I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And the big thing about all of this is, is, look, people have a right to like and dislike whatever they want. You know, you have a right to vote for whoever you want to vote for. And nobody can tell you who you can and can't vote for. You have that right. But, of course, <laughs> these Puritan clowns are going to stop at no end to try to make sure that you were just like them. That you are a part of their entire hive mind. That, that's how this is. Or they'll just make you miserable. Or they'll ruin your life. That's, that's what it comes down to with these idiots. It, I mean, it really is. And people's lives have been ruined. All because of cancel culture. Cancel culture is a terrible thing. It never should have existed. And it should not exist. Cancel culture should be gone. It should be done. Like I said, it never should have happened in the first place, and this is how bad it is. And this is exactly what they do. And what they do is they will bully. They will threaten people to think the way that they think or to vote the way that they vote. And if you don't vote like them or if you don't think like them, well, then get ready because they'll come at you however they can. Whatever thing that they can come up with, 
to attack you with. That's what they'll do. I, I mean, it's not even a joke. I mean, you know, this is what they do. It is a disgusting thing that goes on all the time. Like I said, this is cancel culture, and this is how awful it is. This is why it should not exist. And people have the right to freely do things however they want to do them. But, of course, leave it to woke Twitter to ensure that you can't have your own mindset, that you can't do things however you want, unless it's the way they want it to be. I mean, it's disgusting. And otherwise, well, what are they going to do? They're going to put you on a list. It's awful. There were still plenty of individuals supporting her in the comments, however, with many asserting that the voice actress has actually become more likable as a result of this exposure. And there's no reason for this hate. There's no reason for her to get any of this hate. Not at all. And when you have AOC who's making this list, who's basically putting people on a list for wrong thing, as they say, like, this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. Karen Strassman is being attacked for no reason at all. She should not be getting the harassment she's getting. She has every right to freely speak her mind, you know, and she has every right to like and dislike what she likes as much as anybody else. I mean, you know, this is some very scary stuff. And I'm going to tell you right now, if people thought that things were going to calm down, you know, with the election, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's not about to calm out. It's about to accelerate because, you know, these radical left idiots they're gonna make it worse they're gonna keep on going after people they're gonna cancel whoever they can i'm not even kidding i mean it's ridiculous and this situation should never have happened i mean seriously they never should have gone after karen strassman she has every right to like the tweets that she's liked i mean <laughs> like i said it's a ridiculous situation uh, I, I mean you know and you're gonna keep seeing this because these clowns on twitter well what is it that they think when they have this power, they think that they're going to keep using it, and they think that they're going to keep canceling people with it. You know, they think that they can put people on a list and punish them, which is not right. That's that's not how this should be. You can't punish people just because, oh, look, they disagree with me. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's absolutely absurd, and Karen Strassman, as much as anybody else, has every right to express herself as well as anybody else does. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like, and also be sure to share the video on social media, spread the word, and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated, and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.